to my echo my echo room this is an empty room now I'm renovating at some point I'm going to renovate this room but as you all know I was doing the stairs and my bathroom and now I'm moving my way down here so I want to scrape the popcorn ceiling you know the little bumpy ceiling they call that popcorn ceiling so I'm gonna um, get rid of that I'm going to paint I'm gonna do a little something over there on that wall I'm going to change the floors and I'm gonna carry that right into that next room so it's gonna take some time so I just use in here for filming sometimes and talking to you right now but that's not the purpose of this video we're gonna do other things I am getting ready to go downtown to host a red carpet event. Have you heard of, or I'm sure all of you know about the Met Gala that they have, where you just come in and you dress over the top? Well, we have something like that that's launching here in Toronto and it's called the Vanguard. And Sean Cuffey is the great mind that thought about this and so he asked me to host a red carpet so i'm going downtown and they're gonna get me all ready and you know i don't know i actually do know what i'm wearing i but i don't know how they're gonna do my hair they have it all worked out how they want me to look and i feel comfortable in the look so i said yes and it's a launch so i don't think you're gonna see people dressed like how they would at the real Met Gala and the real Vanguard Gala is going to happen later on this year. I think it's in September. So um, you're going to probably see people in different outfits and I, oh, I don't even know. I just can't wait to see the fashionistas of Toronto and there are some people that are flying in from LA I heard and I predict that this is going to be one huge event this is the first year that it's here but i feel like as it goes on in a couple years we are going to have a signature event right here in toronto called the vanguard and i am so glad uh, that i have the opportunity to host the red carpet so well, i wonder what's gonna happen here today <laughs> it's a surprise <laughs> Come on. You know I hold Believe it or not, this is the morning and these boys went out last night and they had a great time. And um, yeah, Uncle Warren's coming down to show you guys how to pick up girls. There's a class going to be happening here, he said. Picking up girls 101. Okay. So, what you got to do is number one, as Miles said, you got to be yourself. You can't be anybody else. You can't be speaky spooky. Hello. <laughs> that, all of that, you gotta talk how you normally talk. Authentic. Authentic, yeah. And then the second thing is, you break the ice. So you gotta have a little joke, you know? Uh -huh. Come, and then you always, biggest thing, mm -hmm. you always compliment. Even always if it's compliment. a lie? No, because you're not gonna approach somebody right, that you don't right. like. Yeah. They already have a compliment. Yeah. Okay. okay, okay. So you're gonna compliment and break the ice. Okay. And then you start just being curious. That's right. the, I always say be, be most curious. Right. Start asking questions about them. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, Mr. Professional. Yeah. And uh, you remember back when, I mean, you, um, when you were trying to pick me up, you, um, you asked me a ton of questions, right? When I was trying to pick you up? Yeah. I asked questions? Oh, boy. You were asking me questions. I was right? interested in the boy behind you and when oh, you guys boy. were walking in. <laughs> 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 I'm only kidding. No, no, Warren didn't. No, just kidding. Warren, Warren didn't have any pickup line. No, I didn't have any pickup line. But you did make me laugh. Mm. You made me laugh. Okay, yeah, that work, right? Yeah. yeah. So, right. okay. So they're to be funny. To be funny. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. You don't have to again mm -hmm. be a comedian. You just want to break the ice a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I'm not good. So, are we gonna? Are you gonna hold classes or something? Yeah, I'm gonna hold some classes with these guys there. Are you guys gonna come every to the every class? Tuesday, every Tuesday at seven. <laughs> every <Yeah>. Tuesday at <laughs> seven. <laughs> Miles, are you gonna be in the class? Miles. I'm the teacher. <laughs> I was teaching them. I was trying to teach them yesterday. <laughs> Ah, Lord. Well, okay. So class starts on Tuesday at 7. We'll see you there. And um, then they'll practice it next weekend at the club? Yeah. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send them out. Mm -hmm. And they're going to have to come back with um, certain things, you know? <laughs> this is good. <laughs> <laughs> Number one thing that girls like and ladies like is if you're yourself. They don't want you to barge through the door and be somebody else. Be authentic in everything you do in life. That's, that's your advice? Yeah, to be authentic. That's great advice. Yeah, yeah. that's my number one thing mm -hmm. that I learned in life from young is there's only one you. Mm -hmm. And if you're not being that one you, then who are you being? Facts. Right? So you me. only can be yourself. They broke the mold after you. Yes. So you can't pick up and say you want to be so-and-so because it's not going to work because so-and-so is already taken by themselves. Right? Mm -hmm. So be authentic in everything you do and all the actions that you are. All right, guys. Right? Round two next week. Round two. Now, now I know that the goal now, how will you go around and do that naturally? So, so professor, are we taking a field trip? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's do that. I mean, when there's a goal in your mind, just like with anything else, you have to do what you can to you really have to spark the conversation. Beat that goal. Yeah, keep it going. That's it. Spark the conversation, keep it going, and at the end of the night, if it's right, for both of you, you think that, you know, is this someone I'm interested in? Then you get the number. If not, then you keep it moving. Don't make it your goal yeah, no, no, to no. get numbers, numbers, numbers. Yeah, yeah. Right? But not at the end of the night. You're going to flop it on work time. <laughs> 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 so this night, yo. Not, get it. Time Next one. All right. Time for the end of the night. Right. Right. One and right. move. One and move. One and gone. One and done. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> they're the cups. They're like your cups? I'm under my wing, you know? Yo! No, Joseph! You must know this is Auntie Romel's son. You must know. So, what is a warm girl? Warm mean you don't look good. Yeah, yeah. I thought this was. Yes, I've been hot. Wait, is this a Jamaican thing? <laughs> yeah, because oh, I yeah. never heard. Have you ever heard of that, Miles? Oh, so there are a lot of warm girls you see, in the club. You see a girl that don't look good, you say, yo, brother, she warm. <laughs> <laughs> but she not hot. <laughs> is that not how it goes? I, uh, I, I never heard that. One. I never heard that. So, oh, Miles, man. Miles, you got to take them to the hot club, yeah. to the hot thing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Don't take them to warm. That's funny, man. So, that's mediocre. Yeah, that's a Jamaican term because we never heard that before. So, you ever, wait, wait, wait. Have you ever been somewhere where it's cold? 
<laughs> no, no, we don't. Uh, I've, I've never heard cold. Yeah. Never heard cold. So you either go warm or hot. No, you don't go warm. Warm mean you're ugly. <laughs> you don't look too good. I've never used cold. I, I mean, I've, I've said that in jokes. I'm like, brother, that, that girl's not even warm. She's cold. She's cold. <laughs> it, that's not really a term. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm learning something new here. That's so bad. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we are going to hot. Miles, to, take them to pure hot, I please. Need to, I need to call up Bertrand and see if, yo, if it's just. <laughs> this, is amazing. Like, uh, this has to be a Jamaican thing because I never heard of it before. Mm -hmm. All right, so the next weekend is. Part two. Part two next weekend. I'm gonna leave out there soon. You know, you know how when, when, you, when you link a girl and, and she not look too good, we say, yo, she warm. <laughs> is, that, <laughs> is that Jamaican term that, that? Or? It, it is. Oh, me just fooled in because we're there with some people. Mm -hmm. And we say, yo, I did go club last night. And we say, yo, the girl them there did warm. And they look at me like I'm an idiot. <laughs> I said, but we not say them cold or not. It is warm. It is no, so there is no cold. Yeah. It's only warm or hot. Yeah. So, so cold, cold would be a different level of ugliness, mm -hmm. don't you? <laughs> Can get you off my mind.